The theory of cosmic inflation suggests that, in the split second after the Big Bang, our universe expanded at an unimaginably rapid rate, solving major puzzles like why the cosmos looks so smooth and uniform in every direction. But is this theory actually right? Some physicists argue it isn't, pointing to serious weaknesses. First, inflation relies on the existence of a hypothetical inflaton field, a form of energy that's never been detected and doesn't fit into our current framework of known particles. Critics, like Sir Roger Penrose, highlight that inflation actually needs very special starting conditions to work, conditions even more fine-tuned than the ones it's supposed to explain. Others note that inflation's predictions seem almost endlessly adjustable to fit any new observations, making it hard to actually test or falsify the idea, one of the core principles of good science. Some physicists, like Paul Steinhardt, who helped invent the inflationary model, now say we haven't found strong direct evidence for it and believe alternatives, like cyclic universe theories, could explain the same features without resorting to such a mysterious mechanism. Nevertheless, inflation does solve real problems, explaining why the universe is flat and why its background temperature is so uniform. And, so far, some predicted patterns in the cosmic microwave background have matched what we see. In the end, while inflation remains the leading explanation, its critics remind us, just because a theory solves certain problems doesn't mean it's the final answer. When it comes to the origins of the cosmos, the story is still unfolding, and new discoveries may one day overthrow cosmic inflation entirely.